Hello everybody. Well, this is the season for me to be completing tasks left undone. Uh, about three or four weeks ago, I climbed Big Baldy after two and a half years ago and, make, and making an attempt in the winter, and I got stopped by the snow. And here I am today, uh, standing at a junction uh, towards the trip of going to the spiral jetty. And this is another task that uh, after two and a half years, I'm finally getting back to it. It's actually two years and eight months. I'm finally getting back to it. And that road down there is the road that's going to lead to the spiral jetty. And uh, so I'm really excited to see it. I haven't yet been there yet. And I'm going now. So let's see how it checks out. Okay. Well, we've, as you can see in the background, we made it to the spiral jetty. It's actually quite more magnificent and visible and, and alive than what I was anticipating it to be. Uh, it's really cool because uh, all around this area here, there's a whole bunch of lava rock, and I'm guessing the artist uh, took that rock and just put it all the way around in that shape, and it's really quite fascinating. There's a hill behind us that we can climb up and get a really cool perspective of the jetty, and now we're getting ready to walk out onto it and then even go out to the edge of the water, and for the very first time, I'm going to be touching water from the Great Salt Lake. Hey, here we are. I'm now standing in the center of the jetty, and you can see the rocks are all the way forming around in a spiraling fashion, and uh, the plane just flew over, and they have a really great vantage point to take pictures of the spiral, which I wish I was up in that plane right now. But now that we've walked to the center of the jetty, we are now gonna be walking out to the edge of the Great Salt Lake, and I am gonna get my feet wet. Okay, we're on our way out to the water's edge of the Great Salt Lake, and we're coming across these little patches of salt. It, it, as I'm standing on it, it looks like I'm standing on ice, like an ice pack or a snow pack on the side of a mountain. But it's actually salty. Yep, it's very salty. And, uh, and I'm anxious to see how salty the water is as well. So we'll see okay. you out in the water in just a second. Okay, here we are, finally on the water's edge of the Great Salt Lake. And I can tell you the walk out here is fascinating. I can't wait to show you some of the pictures. Amazing stuff. I'm now, uh, before I go in the water, I'm taking a look at this stuff right here, and it's very foamy. Um, you, it, it, um, it almost kind of looks like something came out of like a bubble machine, but what it actually is, it's just salt. It's salt from the waves pounding up against the shore here of the sand and salt mixture. So now, drum roll please. Here we go, my first step into the Great Salt Lake. It's exciting, isn't it? I think I'm gonna wait a minute, just let the drama build. Not that I'm a drama queen, but I figure I just might let it build for a little bit. Okay, now I'm ready. Here we go. Woo! It, wow, the floor, the, the sand is really hard and crusty. And the water is pink. I don't know if you can see the pinkness uh, in the shot right now, but it's pretty amazing. The temperature is quite comfortable. Of course, we're in the middle of August in Utah, so the water's going to be probably warmer than usual. But I would say this is pretty freaking amazing. I dig it. I did it. My first step into the Great Salt Lake. Check out these diamonds that we found, and by we, I mean and found, in uh, the water on our way out. We're standing still at the water's edge, and uh, they're really cool. Everything is so sparkly here. And uh, I'm guessing it's a lot from the salt and stuff, but the shapes are amazing. They're gigantic. It looks like something that was processed by man for like collection's sake or whatever, but this is all natural here right here. Okay, this area is like a little salt barge out on the middle of the lake. And you can see the water coming up on it like a solid white bank of something. And that is just like straight up salt. It feels like table salt. It's pretty amazing. And you can see the pinkness of the water. And then you come up and you got the straight, pure, white salt. See, the foot sinks right in so easy. Okay, we are now standing out totally off the edge of the shoreline, and I thought I would give you all a 360 of what the scene looks like here. I'm um, now pointing east, getting ready to turn north towards the spiral jetty. When you see 
uh, where those people are way down there. That's where the spiral jetty is. And now I'm going to start turning west. And you can still see some hills and water. But pretty much this is out in the wide open nothing. All right, we have just completed the 360. Hope hey you there, enjoyed it. Miss Anna Reno, how are you? Good, thank you. Good. What do you think of this uh, Great Salt Lake? It's amazing. It is amazing. It seems to be the word of choice when we make videos. Right. It's the word amazing, right? Like, what's, what's something that's leaving an impression in your head? The pink sand or the pink water with the white sand. Yeah, pretty amazing. Except it's not really sand. What is it? It's salt. It's salty sand or sandy salt. Or Salt Lake City! Yes.